The agreement has sunset clauses, which means that in roughly 10 years from the signing of the deal, Iran's free to enrich uranium at whatever rate that it wishes. And in the meantime, uh, sanctions were taken off, so it was a windfall for the Iranian regime to the tune of about $125 billion. And the great folly in the deal, it wasn't even the terms of it so much, but the thinking underpinning the deal was that you could separate out Iran's nuclear ambitions from its other male malevolence in the region. So what it's doing in Yemen in overthrowing the government there with the Houthis, what it's doing in uh, Lebanon propping up Hezbollah, what it's doing in Syria with the al-Assad regime, all of these things. Uh, it's the world's foremost sponsor of terrorism. And, and the thinking was the nuclear deal will stop its nuclear proliferation uh, and we'll deal with all those other things in some other way. But in reality, they're completely intertwined and linked. And it was using the cover of that deal to then advance at a great pace all its other actions in the region. So we saw it establish 10 military bases in Syria. We saw Iran conduct 20 ballistic weapons tests since concluding the deal. So it was a bad deal. And I think we're seeing now uh, not just a repudiation of the deal, but a repudiation of the whole failed strategy of engaging with Iran. We're seeing a new path now.